Greetings and salutations. This is just a real quick video to answer a question from a viewer called Great C. They wanted to know how hard or easy it would be to write a script to take files that they feed to a command and send them to a directory called trash that they create in their home directory. We're not talking about using the desktop trash can. That's a little different. There's already a command line utility where you can move files while you are in a terminal over to the desktop's trash can. It's called trash-cli if you want to check that out. What this person wants to do is create their own trash directory and then move files there. I assume they're sorting things out and cleaning things up and they don't want them to just go away. So I wrote this very simple script and this is just something I threw together really fast and the first thing that it does is it has an if statement here where it will create the trash directory if it doesn't exist. That's all that is. So whatever user runs the command it creates the trash directory and uh, if it's not there. Just that simple. Down here is really where it all happens. This is called a for loop and we use the for command and then we create a variable called file right here okay that variable is being created when we type in the file names after the command the shell automatically creates a variable right there that lists everything that you type in so what we're doing is is we're saying for file and get it from here and put it back into file then go ahead and do this command which is move file whatever the first thing is to trash and then it will loop back around and it will do it again it'll do it until it runs out of different options super simple now what's really nice about this is that you can actually use wildcards so let me demonstrate this very quickly here the first thing we're gonna to have to do is create some files so that we have something to work with so let's go ahead and do that and then we will create some directories and yes I already did this before I started recording to make sure it would work and then if we do ls we see we have those directories in there but we do not have a trash directory so let's move a couple of things into a, a fresh trash directory and we're going to use the trash command and we'll do let's see file one and we'll do directory two we're just going to move those I get that right it looks good yep looks good do it all right if we list you see that those are now gone and if we list what's in trash it moved that stuff there so that's working just fine now we can use wildcards to grab whole bunches of files and do this and since we're putting them in the trash can we're not deleting them directly this is pretty cool so we can do something like this uh, trash and then we will do um, and just do the glob that means file and anything after that was going to go directly into the trash so do it list yep all the files went away yep it sure did okay so we can do exactly the same thing with directories so if we just go back up here and change this to does the same thing and once again we can list trash and you see everything got moved into there the only thing here is that the way I have done this you, you really can't be moving files that you need elevated privileges to move. This is going to be stuff for within your home directory because I think if you tried to run this with uh, elevated privileges by putting sudo in front of it, it might get a little confused. It might create a trash can in the uh, root account and move the stuff there. And if you know it's doing that and you're okay with it, that's fine. You could do that too, I guess. Uh, where to put the little script? I put it in my personal bin directory to demonstrate it. That's right here. You see it listed. Uh, you could move this over to uh, slash USR slash local slash bin, and that would make it available to everybody who is on the system. So if you have more than one user, that's how you do 
programs that you either compile yourself or write yourself and make them available for everyone. So that's it. That's just a little alias or a little script here called Trash. And I hope that helps. Uh, great C. And I hope you got something out of it too. Thanks for watching the vid. We'll do it again soon.